Greetings everyone. I'm sitting in front of one of my rose plants and I'm using it to segue into today's topic. Now, I purchased this rose plant last year and it never grew higher than this height. Okay? So, I get to the base of it so you can see the root. Hopefully you can see the root. And it just grew to this height. At the end of the summer, I noticed one part of the rose plant, you know, came all the way to the very top. It was very close to the winter, so it didn't do much. Just stayed there until it dried up. So I was thinking to myself, okay, it's clear that this plant has another uh, set of rows that are different from this one. This is like a miniature plant and it never grew higher than this height, as I said before. But then this grew tall and I was looking forward to it. And so this season, can you look at this? This is the same plant. So it's clear that they would have, is it called engrafted? So the rows, part of it is, I think perhaps this was the original plant. And then they engrafted some rows in it and they're selling it like this rose. So much of what we're dealing with nowadays in our life appears to be one thing. We're presented with the thing that we know or the good things and then something else pops up. Now, this smells very beautiful. I think, I think it's still very beautiful, but it started out as a rose bush, okay? I just hope you can see this. And from the one plant, spring fort, this other plant. And I'm not sure what to think of it. While it's beautiful and it smells great, it is that constant giving us one thing as something and then, you know, having to accept other things. And of course, you know, where do you think I get these from? I get it from a Chinese flower market. Okay, let's pause. Now for this one, I purchased a hibiscus tree. And this blooms those of you who saw the garden last year this blooms huge white flowers and it's growing back this year which at first they said it wouldn't grow back because it's uh, annual but it grew back all right this rose bush has two different colors one pink this is orange but some of the ones that are still closed, they're actually pink. Same thing that we're talking about here, you know? Uh, people manipulate everything. And so you can't get too excited or too nervous when anything is presented to you, you know? Now, what I really want to talk about is the article that came out uh, telling us that you know, Canada has opened its doors to a lot of Caribbean islands and they don't have to pay, um, they don't have to get a visa to come. One of the things I don't like with Jamaicans, some Jamaicans and some of these vloggers, they don't read with understanding and don't use intelligence. I don't know if they don't have it or they just feel like if I push a certain narrative you know these videos will take off so jamaicans are up in arm that canada has not allowed them or they're not added to the list of people who will be able to come to canada without a visa please let me state this the people in the islands that are added these if they fail to hear the part where it says that they were already frequent travelers these people had canadian visas for many many years would have traveled back and forth many many times so the extension that is given to these individuals where they don't have to constantly go 
like every two years or whatever, depending on their visa, to, to ask for a visa is to extend what they have for five years. So for five years, these persons will not have to apply for any visa. It's a big difference than just saying, okay, oh, oh, the whole world, I'm, I'm opening up to all these people and they're going to get visa to come. It's not everyone in those countries who, who are going to still qualify. Those who qualified were already traveling on that visa for a number of years, okay? Um, a lot of Jamaicans have no manners and no discipline. And a lot of them before this would not have qu qualified anyway. So those in Jamaica who already have their Canadian visa, who are already qualified, at some point doesn't have to worry about getting visa because they'll always, or they'll have no problem getting their visa extended. They'll have no problem get their, getting, you know, when they reapply when it's expired. You know what I mean? I just don't like the whole drama and, you know, stories coming out here and people, you know, fighting. Fight for your country that you live, man. Fight for the country. Make rules and laws and make a roar about the country where you live. If you are a roar about that, as opposed, I'm not saying people don't want that opportunity. I don't want people to misunderstand me. But the, the noise that I'm hearing, you know, I don't pay attention to the noise. I just pay attention to the change, you know, to getting the proper change in the market. Yeah. So all this noise, make noise to the people who have the power in a country to make it better for you so you can want to stay there and travel and go away and come back and visit and don't want to run away from your country. That's the big problem. The biggest issue is that these people, the different nations, the people are able to come to these parts. If you live in the Cayman Island, you have no problem getting a Canadian visa. I know that from first exper experience. With, with folks who have come to visit me um, or ask me the right invitation letter for them because Cayman Island government run it in a way that no one has to worry about the people leaving and not going back. And that's what it all comes down to. Nobody says that things are perfect here. Don't, no, no, nobody's saying everything is equitable or whatever, but the noise about the visa is just ridiculous. Now in my next video, that I'll upload today, I'm going to talk about Korea's position or th their anger. And again, we can't trust everything we think we see in the newspaper, but, but their disappointment in not getting their documents signed, their agreement signed, their bilateral agreement signed so that they can come and do what they need to do with the land. That's going to be a different topic today. But, you know, those of you who are listening, don't pay any attention. The people who are added to the list who can come to Canada are already people who were traveling. It wasn't open to everybody. And those who would qualify in Jamaica for a visa will continue to qualify for a visa. I will get the extensions that they need. Let's not bother with all this distraction and all this nonsense. And, you know, these people, they'll do and say anything just to get a check from YouTube. It's just ridiculous. And the people are so naive. You know, I'm going to end with this. I was watching a young lady named Brit, or Brittany, on her page yesterday on TikTok. And she invited this white guy on there. I guess they're friends or whatever. And they were having their conversation. And the guy asked her if she wanted to come to England or go to England because I live in Canada. So do you want to go to England? And she said, I don't remember what she said. And he said that he would offer her a visa. Now, her remark was very snap, and she said, well, are, do you work for immigration? And, you know, he said, no. She says, then how, whatever, how the hell are you going to give me a visa? Well, listen, the people in the comment section went for her. Remember, they don't know, they know Brit. She lives in Jamaica with them. They don't know this guy from anywhere, but because the guy asked her if she wanted a visa, or she wanted, if she had a visa and she wanted to go to England, they were ready to kill their own they were ready to destroy their own Brittany that they're watching. There 4,000 people was watching her. And they were trashing her the moment she asked the man, you work for immigration, what the hell? They cussed her out. They dragged her. Even though the guy said, I don't, I'm not offended or whatever. They were so angry because guess what? They were thinking of themselves. They were not thinking about Brittany. They don't want the young girl to go to England. It's themselves they're thinking about. So when you see people have these uproars about these ridiculous things, they're not thinking about rights of everybody and want everybody to have opportunity. They're thinking about themselves. 
the rage is because of their own selfishness okay so they were ready to drag the girl that they know to defend oh he's such a nice guy because he's a white guy oh he's a nice guy he loves her these these young these young ladies a lot of them are earheads and i tell you i swear a lot of them are earheads but you look and see the dangers that they find themselves in because of how they think anything else outside of their people or out of what they know is perfect that's why they don't fight for what is theirs in jamaica they don't defend their honor they don't hold their government accountable because they always think of other places everywhere else is perfect except their own people they were dragging the young lady cussing her out and she said something and calling her names and saying that she's mad and wow the comment was terrible you should see all that venom for people who claim that they like her sitting there under her post watching her and they turned on her like this because she asked the man if he works for immigration so what i'm saying is you know i look at these folks and i give them a side eye i shake my head all the time she came back and she said he has a girlfriend respect other person's relationship and this girl i admire her for that because she has scruples you know she has integrity a lot of them would do anything this is why they have promoted the whole idea of side piece and side chicken celebrate all of it and when it was playing out in our eyes the other day all of a sudden they come with huge condemnation these people don't respect relationship when they come with their nonsense it's because they don't like certain people why they're criticizing that they will they will always line up underneath your your video or your whatever thank goodness i have seemed to have bacon over here so it doesn't attract certain people but they line up under there and they pretend that they like you that's why i don't look for followers i don't for likes i don't care because these people are not real, okay? This is just a rant session, people. So listen, know the thing. There's also more to the story of, you know, them not being added. And they will never be added because there are certain things that, you know, they're not in line with. There are certain things that, you know, they're not really promoting. And so, you know, you're, you're going to put yourself out there in a very negative way. Am I saying that they should change being this way? No, I'm just saying, understand that when you're going to stand for something, be prepared to know that you're going to be excluded from some things. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of persons only talk out of their mouth. They're not thinking. So they, they, they come out with a venom against certain things. And they, at the same time, they want these individuals to reward them. You're not going to be rewarded for speaking out, out against certain things or people. You can't expect the people you speak against to promote you and reward you. It is just simple. It's that simple. Everything is not as it appears to be. You purchase one thing, and when you look, you're receiving something else. Everything that is beautiful has another side of it, another story to it. That sometimes, if you saw or knew, you probably would not want to participate. Stay blessed, everyone.